Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this time is going to be my hair styling video. More of a how I style my curls after the shower. Like first day hair, how I, you know, maneuver that. And also, finally, praise God, <laughs> my hair growth update. I'm going to insert three pictures. It's going to be when I first did my hair growth mask. I can't remember the day off the top of my head. I got to go back and look. The second picture was, I believe, the day before Mother's Day, which was in May. And the third picture was today. So July 8th was the third picture. So you'll see basically the progress. I have not cut my hair. I was just doing my mask. I also had two weeks where I put in box braids, which also helped, I feel. So here are the pictures. As you can see, the March photo, my hair was a little dry. I waited a while before I took the picture, which I kind of regret doing. Um, the picture in May, I feel like my hair definitely got a little longer, but if you can still, like, you can still tell my ends are very thin, like, they're just, they were thinning out, and the picture now, July, I feel like now my ends are getting thicker, and also the length is coming in as well, and it's like, basically the front of the shorter part of my hair is catching up with the longest part, and it's just getting even, which I'm really happy about. The time that I invest in my hair and actually like doing these masks, scalp massages, um, getting into protective hairstyling, I feel like all of that is a combination of why my hair is growing so healthy. If you have any questions on the hair growth updates, please leave your comments and questions below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And now we're going to get into how I style this baby, how I get this curl right here. And it wasn't too bad. And to be honest, before, I couldn't even curl with my, like, part my hair in the middle. Because my front curls were so straight, it was a done situation. Like, it was not happening for me. But now, with the finger coiling and the products that I've been using, I just love this styling method. I love it. So, let me just shut up. Because y'all know I like to talk. I don't got no friends. <laughs> y'all my friends. If you guys enjoyed, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And enjoy, guys. Are you ready? I don't know how that is, nice, but it's okay. So I'm basically just going to part my hair in half. It doesn't have to be straight, but I like to work in sections. And I make sure I get this hair nice and damped. Especially my edges. This shit dries up so fast. I'm gonna go in now with this Omega 369 Rescue and Repair Curl Defining Smoothie. And this is by Shea Moistures. I love their products. Put it all over my hair from root to tip. And I also like my edges like laid down because the curls are just way too kinky in the front and it kind of gets on my nerves. Look, I was complaining that they were too straight and now they're curly and I'm complaining. Who knows how to please me, Lord. But anyway, so you're just going to lather up all of that. You want to make sure, like, everything has some juice, baby. Now, I'm going in with my favorite gel ever. My Eco Style Castor Oil and Flaxseed Oil. It contains vitamin E, fiber, and omega-3. I'm basically going to take, like small strands right I'm gonna take some of that gel put it on that strand and basically just finger coil and I'm basically just finger coiling the strand I'll let it sit there and I'll hold it for maybe five seconds and then I'll let it go and I'll toss it to the back Honestly, when when I started doing this, it was very difficult for me to kind of like figure out which way the curl went, like my natural curl went, but I stopped caring <laughs> like about which way and I just started doing it like away from my face just because like I would want them to curl that way. And I feel like all my, like, they just each curl differently. Like, I don't have, like, a specific pattern. At least I don't think I have one. So, I'm taking another strand. I like them to make them kind of small. You can always separate them, too, once they're dry. But 
I just like to make mine thin because I like a lot of volume. So when I make them thin, I have more curls to separate, creating bigger hair, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to hold, hold, hold. And toss it to the back. how it should look just pretty like pretty basic but then when it dries up it's gonna dry up like, real cute so i'm gonna go ahead and rush and do this side and i will be right back so i'm pretty much done with all of my hair so now i'm just gonna kind of go in with some of the curling smoothie and just kind of crunch up my hair a little everywhere okay so i'm just gonna go ahead with the curling smoothie I kind of just crunch up my ends. I'm going to go ahead and do it to this side. Depending on how it air dries, like I'll let it air dry for some time and then I'll do the diffuser. But if it air dries nicely, not nicely, but like if it air dries quick enough for me to go out, then I'll just show you guys how it looks without the diffuser. But if I happen to need the diffuser, then I'm going to have to diffuse this thing here. Yeah, so I think we're good. Now I just have to wait for this to air dry, so I'll be back when that's done. Hey guys, so I'm back and my hair is just pretty much air dried. The roots are still pretty damped, but for the most part, like the bottom is pretty dry. And as you can see... My curls are laid and they're super defined. So what I'm just going to go do is kind of like separate. They were already kind of separating on their own because like while it was drying, I would flip my hair and flip it back a few times. Sorry about the noise. He working while I'm working basically. Separate them with your fingers, not too harshly either. You can also like um, rub your scalp to give your scalp more volume. Yeah, so I didn't need the diffuser. I pretty much, I'm obsessed with the way it dry. Like, I love it. Sorry about that. I'm going to take some gel, rub it all over my hands, and basically, like, just grab and crunch. Grab. This is just going to create more volume, which is what I like, because my head is kind of small. You know, like, the back of my head is flat. <laughs> so I need some coverage, if you know what I mean. But this is pretty much the end result and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and like the video leave some comments let me know how you feel about it and i'll catch you on the next one later